Hi everyone, Bernard here on behalf of MovieGameNostalgia.com with a little movie review and looking at a film called Mine 9 today, Mine 9. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that uh, subscribe button, that'd be great. Tell your friends and push that bell notification as well. Yeah, we're looking at Mine 9 today, which is a, a drama thriller, uh, 83 minutes, and it's based on a novel, but I couldn't find out who wrote the novel, but uh, obviously... Uh, yeah, it has that sort of realistic feel to it, doesn't it? It's, uh, obviously, this this film, if you obviously from the mining point of view, we don't have many mines now in the UK, but obviously, uh, I think you still have those, uh, those of you living in America and other territories outside of the UK. Obviously, uh, directed by Eddie Mansour. Yeah, it's about uh, it's the Appalachian miners. It's uh, a couple of miles below ground. Uh, nine Appalachian, that's the mine nine, that's where the number nine comes from. Miners struggle to survive after after a methane explosion. Uh, so say it's only 83 minutes, which I thought was a bit, mm, you know, if you take out your credits, you're talking 70, 70, 75 minutes at most. So, yeah, I was a bit worried about the actual length of this thing, to be honest with you, before I actually watched it, but more on that in a moment. Stars Terry Serpico, Mark Ashworth and Kevin Sizemore, amongst others. Uh, is it any good? Rotten Tomatoes, 89%. So that's a pretty high rating, isn't it? 16, 16 fresh and 2 rotten as far as the uh, reviews go. And overall, it's got a 7.15 out of 10. So 7.15 out of 10. So again, another good score. Uh, the audience score on Rotten Tomatoes is 77%. So again, quite high based on 137 reviews. Uh, the Metacritic's Metascore uh, rating, 65% uh, positivity with 7 positive and 2 mixed reviews. So no, no negative reviews based on just 9 reviews on that. And the user score on uh, Meta Metacritic is uh, 9 9 out of 10, that's pretty good, isn't it? Based on 64 reviews, which is uh, 55 positive reviews, 5 mixed reviews, and just 4 negative reviews. So it all bodes quite well, doesn't it? Uh, Internet Movie Database, this is the one I always sort of look at more. And yeah, it's got 6.8 out of 10, based on over 4,000 reviews. So that's really healthy. And uh, of those people, 44 have actually gone to the trouble of writing a review rather than just leaving a score. And the um, positives on this, you, you've got comments like, very impressive. Uh, this 35-year-old miner liked it, so there you go, from someone who does the job, it's, uh, quote, you know, quoting the realism is pretty good on that one. Good job making this realistic. Yeah, that's a positive. Great acting, directing, but writing had issues. Yeah, I mean, they say they had to squeeze a lot into 80 minutes, didn't they? That's the problem. So perhaps some of the writing struggled against some of the actual action scenes, if you call them action scenes, or some of the cinematography anyway. Accurate depiction. So there's another person who's actually said it's as it is in real life. Uh, a low budget, great film. Yeah, I think it has that low budget feel about it. Short and beautifully made. So there you go. So positives. The negatives. You do get some negatives. Kind of boring. Do you have much chance to get bored in 80 minutes? Leave the religion out. Thanks. I didn't see much religion. A little bit, not too much. Uh, boring. Strange ending. Yeah, it was uh, again <laughs> in line with the short shortness of the film. Uh, disappointing. Lacks finesse. Well, there you go. Movie game nostalgia. My little review of this. Uh, yeah, I can understand the criticisms. I mean, obviously, if, if, the, if the if real miners are saying it's quite realistic, then I, I'll go along with that. Some of the things. It's uh, obviously dark, and uh, but certainly well shot, and uh, you get the claustrophobia feel of it, which is is quite good. Um, but yeah, I think the main issues is going to be the length, isn't it? I mean, uh, it's, it's it is actually it's just it's just too short to me for me to say yeah, it's a really really good film because it just you don't build the the characters aren't built. We don't get really get to know the characters too well with it. So you know, and you've got to invest in the characters in these sort of films. You want them to to survive, don't you? You don't want anything to happen to them. They want them to get out of the the mess they're in. And unfortunately, the de the character development is. You know, there is a little bit at the start and obviously, you know, the, before the thing, but it, it's, it, you don't really learn much about them. So, yeah, it's got great potential. But I think the budget has come to come to say there's some good effects, which obviously probably used up some of the budget, to be honest with you. There's, you know, um, but there's a couple of uh, obviously 
good actors in it who perhaps might have took up a little bit of the budget. They, they obviously didn't take a share of any profits, etc. But yeah, it's you can see it's just sort of rushed through to to me. It's it's such a shame. I mean, there must, could have been more build up, but I say they've having to live within a, a tight budget, obviously, when they've done this. So it would have been better with a an expanded script. But still, still, it's a a watchable effort in my opinion. It's still quite good, as I say. It's just you know when you sort of getting into it, it ends, and it's not the greatest ending. Not the most fantastic ending but uh, yeah my nine is it's not bad um i don't have a price yet for it it's actually been released on the 20th of july um in the uk and not online so i don't actually have any prices as such yet but it is due out on the 20th of july yeah so yeah a watchable effort my little rating mgn rating movie game nostalgia rating i'm gonna give the uh, yeah, I'm going to give you the watchable 6 out of 10, so don't put you off watching it, but don't be disappointed if it seems to end far too soon, because uh, it sort of does. I, I just think uh, it could have been a really good disaster film, it could have been a really good one, but as I say, they, you just didn't have the budget to make it into a really good disaster film, so I may go, I may try and seek the novel out, see if that's more in-depth, etc. So that's the movie, 6 out of 10. The poster, you know, I do a little thing on the poster. Yeah, the poster's all right, isn't it? It's uh, got a good tag. I like the I like the uh, tagline, which is really good. I like I like a good tagline, tagline on a poster. That probably saves the poster from being uh, too plain. And I'm going to equal the movie score with the poster. I'm going to give the poster a 6 out of 10 as well. So a draw today between the movie and the poster. But, uh, yeah, it's a, I always look at it and say, would I have that poster on the wall? Yeah, of course I would have that poster on the wall. Actually, it's quite good, i say. And there's nothing like a good tagline so there you go and that's nothing like i got to know no ways <laughs> no ignore that anyway please check all my links on screen and you can have a look at moviegamenostalgia.com fantastic uh, for all rare dvds movie posters from the 90s and 2000s plenty on there and some great some great posters on there and board games as well so that'd be fantastic and go on there thumbs up to you and if you're not really into twitter you can always follow me on facebook i don't put as much on facebook as i do on twitter but uh, i do put stuff on there as well so if you want a follower on facebook and you can follow me on there fantastic uh, just check out bernard denine on facebook and i'll uh, follow everyone back right that's that well super mine nine out to buy so if you, if you do fancy it and you have heard of it or you've already watched it and you want to want to own it it's out to buy and fortunate unfortunately i don't have a uh, a price here but uh, i will have a price when i come to do the um let me just check this for you i might have a price on my little sheet i've got a little sheet of what we're doing what's coming out to buy no there's still no price on there so um I'll try and get a price before I do my uh, out to buy uh, vlog, which is due out. Probably as due out as you're watching this, or it's due out just after you're watching this, depending on when I do that. Anyway, thanks for watching. We're going to do the rest of the day. Have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your family. More importantly, let's all like look after each other. And hopefully you'll join me again for another little movie review or information vlog in the very near future. This is Bernard saying goodbye for now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.